Unlikely things to hear on a history documentary. Here we are at Warwick Castle, home of one of the biggest scandals in British history. Four quid for a pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wooden horse. The soldiers of Troy had been deceived. They would never bet on the Grand National again. <laughs> So it turns out that Henry VIII is actually some kind of medieval hoover. <laughs> Here's an easy way to remember Henry VIII's wives. Uh, divorced, beheaded, munter, fit, milf. <laughs> Henry VIII divorced her, dried her, and kept her in a tiny jar. It was a fitting end for Catherine of Tarragon. <laughs> and if you want to see what this place looked like 200 years ago, then you probably voted leave. <laughs> <laughs> the story of his marriage is simple. Julius Caesar, Julius marries her, Julius dumps her. <laughs> In 2068, the UK was allowed to rejoin the EU on condition that it changed its name to Very Sorry Land. <laughs> <laughs> and as we unearth this skeleton, what becomes clearer and what we have learned is that I should have found a deeper hole to bury my wife. <laughs> Martin Luther King had a dream about being naked and riding a camel made of ice cream, but we don't hear much about that dream, do we? <laughs> <laughs> what was life like for a typical Roman soldier around 200 BC? No <laughs> fucking idea. <laughs> Are your parents? shouted Cromwell across the battlefield. And the king replied, They're very well, thank you. Isn't the weather nice for this time of year? <laughs> it was civil war. <laughs> oi, oi, you slags! History, history, history! My name's Danny Dyer, and this is Britain's oldest bricks. <laughs> They called him Edward the Confessor, but he was not as popular as his brother, Steve, the what goes on tour stays on tour. <laughs> <laughs> they ravaged the land, taking over vast areas with the catchphrase, if anyone can, Genghis can. <laughs> <laughs> As they ceased to exist over 200 years ago, it was impossible to know what Southern Rail was until yesterday when one of their trains finally arrived. 